Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and I just checked out the London cookbook for my library, and it's massive and very heavy. I want to find out what's going on. It's by Alexandra Crapanzano. Let's check it out. I'm going to try and hold it up. It's heavy. Recipes from the restaurants, cafes, and hole-in-the-wall gems of a modern city. Tenspreed Press, one of our favorite cookbook publishers. Let's check out the chapters. Light fare, soups. Pasta, rice, and grains, vegetarian, yes, a whole chapter, seafood, fowl, meat, desserts, chilled desserts, and cocktails. Cocktails should probably be in the front. Okay, introduction. <laughs> There's some men in London in a restaurant or cafe or bar. Okay, the first food picture of the book, but there's nothing that says what it is. Nope, okay. Bar, drinks, etc. I think we're going to learn a lot about the history of London bars in this cookbook, and the introduction's very long. Okay, the London Culinary Tree, starting off with Anna Hansen. Okay, a whole bunch of important people. Note on ingredients. Okay. Whew! First chapter, Light Fair. I can only show you a few examples from every chapter, so let's start with crab and raw artichoke salad. Okay, here's a bar. Here's some people. Potted kiln salmon. Shrimp awa chili ceviche with jalapeno and citrus is not a recipe I would have thought I'd find in a London cookbook. That's cool. Ooh, this is perfect for autumn. Grilled leeks, chev, brown butter, and smoked almonds. Mmm. Mung and haricot verts. I never would have thought of that combination. I like that. I gotta keep going. Can't show you the whole book. Welsh rarebit. I've always wondered if that was a mispronunciation of rabbit, but I don't know anything about meat, so I could be wrong. It's a beautiful picture of some restaurant or cafe. There's a big chapter. Not every recipe has a picture. Because they're putting in so many pictures of restaurants, there's no pictures for the food. Okay, soups. Soup chapter. Soup of peas and beans. So I'm not being blown away by the food photography, but that said, it's hard to photograph pea soup and have it not look disgusting, but I'm sure that is delicious. Fennel and watercress soup with a picture of a phone booth instead of the soup. <laughs> Farro and porcini soup, no picture. Smoked paprika, piquillo pepper and tomato soup with chef toast, no picture. Here's the, oh, here's the farro and porcini soup. I was bitching too soon, I'm sorry. Ooh, sweet potato, bacon, and Savoy cabbage soup. Now that is a good food photography because now I really want to eat that and I don't even eat bacon. Okay, let's get out of the soup chapter. Now we're in... No? Ooh, no, I have to show you this. This picture is gorgeous. And if I made this for my boyfriend, he would be super happy. Roasted corn and chorizo chowder. Yum! Okay, I gotta get out of soups. Ah! Pasta, rice, and grains. Also probably a mostly vegetarian chapter. Summer pasta with creme fraiche, arugula, and lemon. And I have all the ingredients for this, including fresh arugula from my herb garden. I could make this tonight, and I might. Linguini with clams, yellowfin tuna, spaghetti puttanesca. Porcini duck, pappardelle, no picture. Chestnut stracchetti with mushrooms and chestnuts. Looks good, very autumnal. Let's get to the next chapter. Ooh, spiced heritage carrots, frica, and labna. Labni. Restaurant picture, no picture of the food. Potato chot with pomegranate mint and rose raita. I was wondering and hoping if we'd have some Indian food recipes in here, perhaps in the vegetarian section. Ooh, this is pretty. Polenta with chestnuts, ricotta, squash, and fried sage. I thought that was a peach slice on top and I got really excited. But yeah, I could add a peach slice if I wanted to. Taktuka. How is that different than shakshuka? I don't know, but I'm very intrigued. It looks really good. Is that just a different name from a different country? There's an alpine fondue recipe, no picture, but a bunch of cheese. I wish my home pantry looked like that. Oh, that would be amazing. Okay. Seafood chapter, which I'll go through briefly because I'm vegetarian. Scallops with red nam yum. Beautiful photo. Fish and chips. Okay, there has to be a fish and chips recipe in a London cookbook. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know what salsify is. Here's ginger and cilantro spiced cod with cauliflower, quote-unquote, couscous. 
Not the best food photo ever, but I'm sure it's delicious. Chicken scallopini with mushrooms and marsala. Did we get into the fowl chapter? I think we did. Braised duck legs, spiced red cabbage. Um, spinach, oh, Spanish cassoulet with dug leg confit, sobrasada, something, something, and migas. Okay, migas are delicious. Filet of beef stroganoff. Iberian rib stew. Spiced lamb, chickpeas, and labneh, but there's no food photo. Okay, oh, I'm in the desserts chapter, and there's lots of them. Whoa, okay, let me find a really good picture. Mm -mm. Muscovado custard, not an attractive photo. I'm not going to show it to you. This is gorgeous. Orange, mint, and rose petal cake. Now that was worth showing you. Nice. Um, What else? A Bakewell tart. Not a lot of photos, people. Mm -mm, not good. Ginger spice steamed puddings with rum syrup. You knew there'd be some puddings in here. Now, what was the next chapter that was also desserts? Frozen desserts? Chocolate marmalade pudding. Peach raspberry mess. Photos of I don't know what. I'm not very excited to look at that. Chilled desserts. Okay. And we're almost on to the cocktail chapter. Sazerac jelly. A posset. Baked Alaska. Deconstructed cheesecake with fresh lemon curd. Mm, delicious, but not very mind-blowing. Black sesame panna, panna cotta, coconut and something, lime green tapioca, and I'm sure we're into cocktails, white peach summer martini, and blood orange winter martini. Nice. Uh, a quinine sour, the avenue, sage and cardamom gin with pineapple and cloves. I knew there'd be some gin in here. So that is the London cookbook. Pretty good. Not the best photography I've ever seen, but so many recipes I'd like to try, and I might even try tonight. So overall, definitely re recommend this cookbook. To see more of our cookbook look-throughs and reviews, follow Cookbook Divas on our blog, podcast, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and occasionally on Pinterest. Be sure to click like, subscribe, drop us a comment, hopefully something nice. When you interact with our posts on social media, Facebook and Instagram will show more of them to you if you want to see them. Thanks and bye.